couple of years ago, Jason, one of my subscribers from the USA, sent me a couple of Trogues Mad Elf beer. One bottle to review, and the other to age until I was 50 and review it again. So here we go. Two years later, let's review this aged Trogues Mad Elf. It's beer o'clock and from Trogues Independent Brewing in Pennsylvania, the USA, we have a bottle of their Mad Elf coming in at 11% ABV. But this is not just any bottle of Mad Elf. Because, like I said in the intro, Jason, one of my subscribers from the US of A, um, got in touch with me on Facebook two years ago and said, look Mark, he said, I've got a beer here. He said, that you might better get it hold of in the UK. Um, that I consider to be one of the best beers in the world. And my old ears are pricked up then, aren't they? Like, you know? And um, he said, look, I'd like to send you a couple of bottles. One bottle to review, and see what you think. And he said, and also it ages really well. So I'd like you to age a bottle as well and then review it later on. So I said to him, I'll tell you what, in a couple of years I'm 50. So what I'll do is I'll review one of them. And when I'm 50, um, we'll review the other one. which is great, brilliant. And funny thing is, in the summer, Jason messaged me and said, hey, when are you going to review that, um, that Trogues Mad Elf? I said, Christmas time. I said, I'm not going to review it in the summer. It's not a summer beer. This, this is really, a, you know, this is a Christmas beer. It's only brewed from mid-October to December. Once a year, like, they brew this beer. So, you know, it is, they call it the, the, the legendary holiday ale. Um, last time around, I say when I had reviewed this two years ago, it blew, it blew my socks off. It is, it was good. So let's, let's hope um, that this is aged fantastic. Um, from what I can gather and read about, you can age this for a lot of years. But you know, I was 50 this year, and I think it's just a special occasion to come on. Let's open it up, enjoy it. You know, it's it's Christmas Eve. Um, let's crack it open, eh? Let's crack it open. Crack it open before I turn 51 in January, eh? So, without further ado, let's crack it open and get in the glass. I think I've actually got the same glass I put it in last time. There we go. First things first, I do believe it's poured near on exactly the same as it did two years ago. Um, it's ruby red colour, a two finger off white foam head. Let's get the aromas. The first thing that hits you with this beer, like it did two years ago, is the cherries. Cherries, then you've got chocolate. It's... <sighs> really sort of Tart cherries and chocolate is what you get on the nose of when you, you know, you literally get this beer. You're getting some sort of allspice there as well. Um, you know, winter flavours, cloves, cinnamon, that sort of thing. And that's because they actually add Belgium yeast to this. This is how this discussion started with me and Jason originally, because he said this is like some of these Belgian beers that you you know you you highly recommend. And 
from my recollection, well, it's been two years ago since I had it. I do believe I considered this to be one of the the top, my top ten beers in the world, or or I think I said this would be a top ten beer in the world if they produced it all year round, and if it was available all over the place at the moment, you know, it's only available really in the US of A, um, which is a bit of a shame, really. So without further ado, let's let's, let's dive in, and give it a try. Cheers, cheers to Jason. Um, yeah, two years old. Let's, let's give it a try. Cheers. The first sip. <laughs> it's just brought back memories of how good this beer was. The last time I had it, it is good. Um... It is Christmassy. This is, this is like Christmas in a glass. Now, how is it aged? Is the big question. It still feels boozy. You know, I remember that from last time, the booziness, you know, you definitely know you've got an 11% beer in your hands. Um, it might not be as tart as last time. It's very smoother. Um, it's sticky. Now, they actually use um, a local wild, wild, wild flower honey in the brewing process and I think that's what gives it that stickiness that sticks all around your mouth and even the lining of your stomach I'd actually like to you know um, the Trogues Brewery um, started by two brothers Chris and John Trogner. Okay, um, and I think they sort of start. They started messing around with brewing in sort of nineteen ninety two, and uh, doing home brew and all that. And I, I do believe the um, the brewery sort of nineteen ninety six was when they really sort of you know started the brewery off proper. Apart from you know doing home brews in their garage in their sheds and whatnot. Um, what I would like to say to, to, to Chris and John Trogner with this beer, this is it's immense beer. It is there's no ifs or buts about it. This is a fantastic beer. I think they could take it to the next level by barrel aging it. You know, you can age this beer in the bottle. Why not? do a barrel age so in some in some oak casks because I think by doing that we're gonna have a beer which you know you could produce it once a year like um, they do um, um, the Goose Island Bourbon County you could do this like this is once a year but you could do the next level one the one that's barrel aged um, I think it would be a massive hit I think it would do well because this this beer just screams out to be barrel aged. Oh. You know, so you think in this in this beer that the, the flavours I'm getting it's the cherries, the clove, cinnamon, allspice, the honey. You know, it is just the flavours are just immense. This beer, if it was given to you on a blind test, and someone said it's a Belgian beer, you'd believe them. You you go, oh, bro, what, what bloody hell? This is good. What what Belgian beer is this? You know, it's that good. And 
even though it's got the cherries in there you could taste them but they're subtle and they use five different types of cherries in this in this beer so it's got the the bing the lambert the van royal um the van the royal anne and the um mont Morency, Mont Morency, never heard of it, you know. Um, I didn't know there's so many different types of cherries, you know, but uh, you know, there's five different types of cherries in this beer. Obviously, the yeast is a Belgium, spicy Belgium yeast. Um, the malts, chocolate, Munich, and Pilsner. Well, you know, there's chocolate malts in there because you're getting that, that chocolatey taste. Take a sip of this beer and to hold it in your mouth and just let it roll around. Like when I used to smoke a cigar, you take a, a good cigar, you take a, you know, a good drag on it and you let that smoke just roll around the inside of your mouth, picking up all them flavours. And when you do that to this beer, the flavour bomb explosion in your mouth is unreal. first thing that sort of hits you is the, the cherries, the chocolate, the cinnamon and you get the sort of like the, 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 the all spice and the clove and then that subtle sweetness of the honey at the back end you know the only thing that's missing from this beer especially now I've aged it is the oak tannins it's the only thing that's missing from this beer um I don't know how long you can actually ages for it doesn't really say but I would hazard a guess now this is two years old absolutely fantastic I wouldn't be surprised if you could age this 10 years and still open the bottle and still enjoy it. Um, maybe it might have lost a little bit of the head when you pour it. Um, but, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, leave me a comment below. But I reckon you could age one of these for 10 years. I really do. Reckon you could age one of these for 10 years and you'd really enjoy it afterwards. Because two years, it's immense. What a perfect way to start the Christmas period with a beer like this. It'll be a bit different later when I'm down the boozer and I'm and uh, be drinking Camden Pale Ale. <laughs> be a bit different then to what I'm having now, but um, this is this is fantastic. Jason, thank you so so much for sending me these two bottles of beer. Um, and I did, and I did what, what you told me to reviewed one and aged one. I hope you're you're happy with um, the review and the outcome of this little experiment. Um, I hope that everyone watching it enjoys it. Um, look back at the old one and see if, what the differences are. Obviously, you know, you want to view the old, the old one on the, mad, on, the, on the Mad Elf that I did. And this, obviously, watch this one. Compare them. Um, see what you think. Comment below. I know I've had a few people been asking me to, to um, revisit some, some beer that I've aged. Um, especially one of them, which I'm going to have to do, is the Orville. Um, I've been asked a couple of times now on, on the Orville. Um, I have some bottles aging so yeah I'm gonna have to revisit that one because the first time around I thought it was a bit sharp and wasn't overly impressed but people told me you need to age it 
I've actually been in, in pubs, in, in uh, bars in Belgium, and I've actually had aged Orville, and yes, there is a massive difference, hence why I've been aging some up. Um, to go back to, to review on the channel. Um, but no, I think it's something which um, next year with the channel, we're gonna start doing is, I'm gonna start seeing if we can get some aged beers reviewed for all the people that have been asking. Um, something a bit different, I don't think anyone else is doing it. Um, all I'd like to say is before we go, is I'd like to wish every one of you who watch my reviews a very very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year um, as always if you like to see leave me a comment below okay give me a big thumbs up if you like, like the review hit that little bell get notified every time I bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like I always say beer is the answer but I cannot remember the question thank you for watching Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.